After almost 60 years, it was time to go back. A Vietnam veteran returned to a country he left at war. He made that return trip this month with fellow veterans and tonight a glimpse of that journey. Okay, so whenever you get there, you'll when you stay okay, you'll pick up your luggage. Curiosity, powerful motivation for one veteran to return to Vietnam almost 60 years after he left the country at war. So what are you expecting? Hell, I don't know. Everybody says it don't. It's all changed. David Monroe is making the journey with almost two dozen other Vietnam veterans from East Tennessee. Going anywhere with veterans is great. Friends and family for years. This marks return trip number four for organizer Ron Kirby. The Army veteran has now escorted more than 100 fellow veterans and their families back to Vietnam. I feel like it's had a positive impact on everyone that's gone. The two-week trip starts with flights that will keep this group in the air for more than 24 hours. Back in the mid-60s, David Monroe was a 19-year-old jet mechanic. At age 81, the Air Force veteran says stepping back on the tarmac of the same airport where he served at war was foreign. I only saw about two or three things that was familiar to me. One of them was a water tank at Thompson Hood Air Force Base in Saigon, and the other one was the Quonset huts that we parked our planes under at Da Nang Air Force Base. It just looked totally different. Totally different. Totally foreign. Yeah. Nothing like you remember. Oh, no. Airport duty offered relative safety in the early days of the war, save the enemy mortar attacks every night. Well, they would slip in every night. And we would either get mortars or we'd get rockets. And they never would come at the same time every night. It was a psychological thing they tried to work on you. Were you ever fearful of your life? Well, I was whenever they were coming in. Because we never did know what the next one was going to hit. The return trip delivered memorable sights. Architecture dating back 400 years. Breathtaking resorts. But the more than 600 pictures he snapped can't capture the deeper impact of this journey. Did you see this as a healing trip in that way? Somewhat. Why do you say that? Well, I was able to go back and as Ron Kirby said, he said, the reason I wanted you to come is he said, I want you to kill ghosts because there's a lot of memories and a lot of ghosts over there. And you feel like that happened? Yeah, but they treated, they knew we were Americans, but they treated us fine. I mean, we didn't have any problems at all. They were very nice, all of them. Well, I'm just proud to be a veteran. Uh, I've had people call me heroes. I'm not a hero. The heroes are on the wall in Washington. I was just doing a job that I was sent there to do. The chance to revisit a country he served at war. The opportunity to do it with people who understand his experience. The camaraderie of a return trip. It's why this veteran gives this journey a 10 out of 10. Couldn't have been better. Couldn't have been better. That's good. Unless somebody else had paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to Ron Kirby about that. We went along on a similar return trip in 2017, and you can watch our documentary, Facing Ghosts, Return to Vietnam, right now at WBIR.com, or on the Service and Sacrifice YouTube page. Robin? <laughs> Every trip is better when it's free. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, thanks so much.